Yo, what up guys, it's Easy Game here. I wanted to get this video out as quick as possible, so it's gonna be minor editing. I'm just gonna go through this really quick. One take, basically I wanna make a video that will try to help everybody decide what class to level for Dragonflight. I know there's a lot of people that come into my chat and they ask me, hey, what class should I level? Should I level this, should I level that, should I level this? So hopefully this video will help you guys decide on what classes or specs you decide to pursue at the start of Dragonflight. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We've got the little tier list right here. We're going to go through one by one for you guys. All right. So first off, um, we're just going to go ahead and start with the tanks and uh, put them right down here. Don't level these. If you want to if you want to play tank in PvP, just just don't do it. Just for, for all of our sakes, just just don't do it. So let's go ahead. Did I did I miss any? Oh, Guardian. Yep. OK, uh, Vengeance. All right, cool. All right. We got those covered. Don't do it. Let's go ahead and start the list off with Demon Hunter. Demon Hunters are uh, definitely looking really strong in Dragonfly. Obviously, they're pretty gross in the pre-patch. And they're looking to be still very strong in Dragonfly. Not as strong as they are right now, but they're still up there for sure. Definitely consider leveling this one first if it's a class you enjoy. If it's like your alt class, maybe level it second or third. Definitely a good consideration there. Next up, Shadow Priest. I think Shadow Priests are looking really, really strong in Dragonflight. Um, if this is a class you're interested, I would definitely consider in leveling this first as well. Don't really see any nerfs coming for them. They're 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 very strong, but they're not so strong to the point that they're going to get completely obliterate nerfed. Definitely a good investment. And uh, also, disc is a viable option too. So if if you just want to play a priest and you can play all the specs, just a priest is a good choice. Very solid choice to level up first. Next up, let's do warlock. I think. All three Warlock specs are looking really strong right now on the on the beta, so I'm going to go ahead and put Demo and Affy up here. People are saying they're extremely strong. I think Destro is probably the weakest of the specs, but um, it's not doing very well in PvE, so it'll probably see some buffs. So I'm going to put it probably right here. Um, like I said, Affliction, Demo is just unkillable. Affliction is doing crazy damage. Destro is not super far behind them but like i said blizzard usually buffs based off of pve for performance and destro is doing not very good in pve so it'll probably get some buffs so no matter which specs you want to play a warlock might be a good choice for you um let's move on to let's do the evoker next evokers are obviously really strong right now in the pre-patch um i i honestly want to put it as level first because it's a new class and you know blizzard loves them the thing about devastation that i'm a little bit hesitant on for everybody is the class does a lot of damage right now on the pre-patch and on beta it does damage but the problem is it doesn't really do anything else so if blizzard decides to nerf this class's damage i just i'm worried about a damage nerf if this class gets damage nerfs it, it just won't be useful at all it kind of needs to be a glass cannon because it doesn't really bring anything else to the table they have very low cc weak defensives their kick is pretty bad like they don't they don't really bring anything but damage so i'm that's why i'm that's why i'm gonna put it here because i'm afraid people might cry about the class and and it'll just get nerfed into the ground and, and once the damage gets nerfed i i don't really see devastation having a place anywhere to be honest with you but hopefully that doesn't happen and hopefully it stays strong in the glass cannon that it is let's go ahead and move on to shamans let's do all three shaman specs i think ellie is looking really promising i don't know if i would put it quite up here with these classes I think I'd probably put it right here. It's definitely probably the looking like the strongest shaman spec right now for DPS. I think enhances uh right below it. I don't know if I would consider like swapping to an enhancement shaman. I don't think they're that good from what I've seen, but they're definitely not terrible. So I'd probably put it a little bit below Ellie. Let's do DK's next. Both Frost and Unholy are looking really strong. I don't know if I'd put them up with the other classes at the top. I think they're a little bit weaker than them, but definitely both solid choices. I think Frost DK in particular is probably what I'm going to level up. I think uh, Frost DK is really fun to play. Big numbers, and uh, it's looking, like I said, it's looking insanely strong in the, in, the, in the beta. Next up, let's do Paladins. Well, there's only one Paladin spec. I think Rhett is also looking quite powerful in the beta. I think I'd put it probably at the same spot right here. All right, let's do Rogues next. I think assassination is definitely the best rogue spec so if you if you play a rogue and you don't want to play assassination maybe consider not leveling a rogue in rbgs though rogues will always have a place so in my opinion if you're a rogue main just just level your rogue if you if you're interested in rbgs in particular because 
there's never been a time where rogues haven't had a place in RPGs. They just always have. They're the best objective class. They they do everything they need to do. A rogue can do zero damage and it'll still be in an RPG. So I want to worry about that. But as far as arena goes, I would uh, definitely put sub and outlaw probably down here. They're, they're not completely awful, but they're not super good either. Let's see what's next. BM Hunter. Let's do BM Hunter. I think BM Hunter is... Hmm. I haven't really seen much about it, to be honest with you, so that makes me think it's probably not very good. But I don't think it's completely awful. So I'm, I'm probably going to put it right here as well. I think survival is actually really strong. I'm going to put it up here. I think if you want to play survival, that's probably the place to be. Marksman, um, from what I've seen in PvP, from what people are telling me, it's not very good. But it is getting some damage buffs, so we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to put it right here. Um, wait and see how it performs. They're getting a 10% damage buff on Tuesday, and I'm guessing that's carrying over into Dragonflight. So who knows about Marksman, but as of now, it's not looking too good. So we're going to put it right here. Same goes, let's do Mages. I think Fire is not looking very good. So if you want to play a Fire Mage, probably wait on that one for balance changes. Probably don't level it first if you're only interested in playing Fire. Arcane is looking really solid. So if you want to play Arcane, definitely consider leveling that first. Um, and Frost is, eh, it's kind of mediocre. Probably maybe level it if you just really love a Frost Mage or if you're also interested in playing Arcane. Um, oh, we're almost done with the DPS. All right, let's do Feral. Feral's looking really strong. I think Feral's probably, honestly, it's probably in between level it first or definitely level first or second. Um, this is a tough one. Just for the sake of not crowding this one up, I'm going to put it up here because I think a good Feral will just make it work. It's insane. Boomies. Apparently are not looking too hot after the nerfs. They were looking insane, but they just got completely floored with like four nerfs in a row. So, but they're still not completely awful. They're still viable. I'd probably put them here. Just level it if it's your main. I wouldn't consider like re-rolling to it or something like that. Yeah, we, let's rename this one so everybody... Just so, just so these are like, these are the most powerful specs right here. So like, even if you don't play these, maybe, maybe it'll be like your second level to re-roll. Um, Windwalker is also looking really strong. We're going to put it right here. Definitely level it if it's your main. Arms. I'm really not sure about arms. I've heard mixed reviews. A lot of the, the people that play arms have been saying it's good. The people who don't play it are saying it's not that good. So I think I'm going to put it right here. I think I'm going to put both warrior specs. Oh, I forgot to put the tank down here. I think I'm going to put both warrior specs right here. Consider leveling if it's your main. Probably not. Probably don't re-roll to warrior. I don't think it's that strong right now. On the beta just wait on it all right now we're on to the healers i think preservation evoker is going to be the mainstay healer i think for rbgs and for arena preservation evoker is going to be extremely strong definitely something to consider re-rolling to if you've never touched it or if you're playing it in beta and you are in pre-patch and you like it it's definitely going to be really strong i doubt they'll nerf it um it's a new class blizzard never likes to nerf the new class too hard it, it's going to be strong so consider re-rolling or level it first if you're enjoying it on the on the pre-patch. Um, let's see. What do we do next? Let's do uh, Ardruid. I think Ardruid is uh, probably the next best healer besides Evoker. Um, I'm going to put it right here. I don't really want to put it higher. Because I don't want to I don't want to crowd up this top one too much. I think when uh, Mistweavers are also up here. Also very good. Um, I'm thinking Disc Priests are going to be really strong as well. I, I just, I think Preservation is going to be the best healer though. So that's why I want to keep it in its own thing. I think these three are about tied. Holy Priest, I'd put right here. Probably not something you want to re-roll to. I don't think they're going to be that strong. Our Shamans aren't looking that strong either. Um, a lot of Shamans are already just playing Evoker because they they, they don't have faith in the, sh the R Shaman for the, for the Dragonflight launch. Um, and Paladins are also looking pretty weak from what I've seen. Um, so I'd probably put them down here as well. So there we have it. I think that's the completed list. This is pretty much just to try and help you guys consider what to level. Like I said um, on my stream, I've gathered all this information from other tier lists, from what I've seen on beta, from DPS meters on uh, the Dragonflight beta. So I've done my research. I've tried to try to get this as accurate as I could to help you guys decide on what classes to level. Obviously, take this with a grain of salt. You know, if you want to level a class, just just level a class. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anyone else. Level the class you like because Blizzard, you know, in the first month, they're going to buff and nerf a lot of different things. So I want, I want to worry about it too much. 
but this is just trying to help you to push you in the right direction. I think we're going to have a lot of time to level a lot of different things, so you'll be all right no matter what. But hopefully this helped some of you guys out. If you guys liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and uh, make sure to check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash easygamel. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.